Imagine a city where the echoes of ancient empires and timeless legends resonate through the streets. Welcome to Adventure Beginnings, where today we embark on an extraordinary journey through Rome, the Eternal City. From the awe-inspiring Colosseum to the solemn majesty of the Vatican, join us as we peel back the layers of history in a city that has been a crossroads of culture and power for millennia. Let's wander through the labyrinth of cobbled streets, uncover hidden gems, and reveal the stories etched into the very stones of Rome. Our adventure begins now, in a city where the past and present merge into a tapestry of unparalleled beauty. As we leave the bustling streets of Rome, where the aroma of fresh espresso lingers in the air, our steps lead us to a monumental marvel of ancient engineering, the Colosseum. Standing before us, the Colosseum looms with its immense structure, casting a shadow that spans centuries. Its massive stone arches and weathered walls speak of a time when Rome was the heart of an empire. Once it echoed with the roars of lions and the cheers of an exhilarated crowd, as gladiators battled for glory under the Roman sky, the sun today touches its crumbled stones, creating a dance of light and shadow, revealing the Colosseum's timeless grandeur and the resilience of its architecture. Walking around the colossal amphitheater, one can't help but feel the weight of history. Each stone seems to hold a story, a whisper of the past, where triumph and tragedy played out in equal measure. It's a place where one can almost hear the footsteps of the thousands who once filled its stands, from emperors and senators to the common Roman citizen. Inside, the once gory arena now lies silent, but the air is thick with the echoes of its storied past. The ground where battles were fought has given way to reveal a complex labyrinth of underground passages, the backstage to the spectacle where gladiators and beasts prepared for their fateful encounters. Leaving the Colosseum, its immense presence lingers in the mind, a symbol of Rome's enduring legacy. The journey continues, drawing us towards another chapter of this eternal city, where each corner and cobblestone has a story to tell. Our next destination awaits, a testament to the spiritual and artistic soul of Rome. Vatican City. As we depart from the ancient grandeur of the Colosseum, our journey through Rome takes us to a place of transcendent beauty and profound spirituality. Vatican City, nestled within the heart of Rome, this sovereign city-state stands as the smallest country in the world, yet its influence resonates far beyond its borders. Approaching the Vatican, the first sight to captivate our senses is the imposing and magnificent St. Peter's Basilica. With its towering dome, designed by Michelangelo, the basilica dominates the skyline, a beacon of artistic and religious devotion. The square before it, St. Peter's Square, is an architectural masterpiece in itself, its colossal colonnades embracing visitors from around the globe. Stepping into the basilica, we are enveloped in an atmosphere of awe. The vast interior, a tapestry of art and faith, houses some of the most renowned artworks in the world. Michelangelo's Pieta, a sculpture of breathtaking beauty and sorrow, while the expanse of the basilica's nave leads the eye towards the glory of the altar, beneath the awe-inspiring dome. Beyond the basilica, the Vatican museums await. Here, the genius of Michelangelo is displayed in its full splendor on the chapel's ceiling, a masterpiece that depicts the story of creation with a vibrancy and drama that speaks across centuries. Emerging from the Vatican, the experience leaves us with a sense of wonder and reverence. The blend of art, history and spirituality found here is unparalleled, a testament to the enduring power of human creativity and faith. Leaving behind the spiritual majesty of the Vatican City, as we step back into the streets of Rome, we move towards our next destination, where ancient and modern Rome meet the Pantheon. The Pantheon, positioned in the bustling heart of Rome, this ancient temple-turned-church stands as a testament to the ingenuity of Roman engineering and the enduring beauty of classical architecture. As we approach, the Pantheon's grand façade greets us with its imposing Corinthian columns and triangular pediment, a design that has inspired countless buildings throughout history. The massive bronze doors at the entrance offer a portal to a different era, an invitation to step into a world where ancient Rome's spirit is palpably alive. Crossing the threshold, we are immediately struck by the awe-inspiring interior. The Pantheon's dome, 
the largest unreinforced concrete dome in the world, soars above us. Its oculus, the only source of natural light, casts a heavenly beam that travels across the room, marking time in a play of light and shadow. Within these walls, the harmonious blend of architectural precision and artistic elegance speaks to a philosophy where mankind sought harmony with the cosmos. The dome's perfect proportions, mirroring the heavens, create a sense of the infinite, an architectural echo of the eternal city itself. Around us, the Pantheon also serves as a final resting place for renowned figures, including the great Renaissance artist, Raphael. Their presence adds a layer of reverence to the already sacred atmosphere, a space where art, history, and spirituality intertwine seamlessly. As we marvel at the majesty of the Pantheon, it's hard not to feel transported back in time. And speaking of timeless wonders, if you're enjoying this journey through Rome, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Adventure Beginnings for more travel stories. Your support helps us bring these historical adventures to life. Our journey through Rome's rich tapestry of history continues, drawing us next to a site of Baroque splendor and romantic legend, the Trevi Fountain. Walking away from the ancient elegance of the Pantheon, our path meanders through Rome's vibrant streets, leading us to a spectacle of Baroque artistry. The Trevi Fountain, this architectural jewel at the heart of the city, captivates all who lay eyes upon it with its grandeur and mythic beauty. The sound of cascading water reaches us before the fountain comes into view, a refreshing melody in the Roman air. Then, as we turn a corner, the Trevi Fountain reveals itself in full splendor. Its massive scale and intricate sculptures are a visual symphony of stone and water, a masterpiece crafted by the hands of Nicola Salvi and completed by Giuseppe Panini. Central to the fountain's design is the majestic figure of Oceanus, the god of the sea, riding a chariot pulled by seahorses and guided by tritons. The sculptures around him depict various mythological and allegorical scenes, each more intricate than the last, their details brought to life by the play of light on water and stone. As is tradition, we join the throng of visitors in turning our backs to the fountain to toss a coin over our left shoulders. This ritual, steeped in legend, promises a return to Rome, a wishful bond between the traveler and the eternal city. The coins glinting in the water are a mosaic of hopes and dreams, collected nightly and donated to charity. Leaving the Trevi Fountain, the echo of water lingers in our ears, a reminder of Rome's endless capacity to enchant. Our journey continues, weaving through the remnants of ancient times to a place where history speaks through ruins and legends. The Roman Forum, stepping away from the mesmerizing beauty of the Trevi Fountain, our journey through Rome's storied past takes us to a place steeped in history, the Roman Forum. Once the epicenter of Roman public life, the Forum now lies as a sprawling testament to the city's ancient grandeur and political prowess. As we enter this historic area, the sense of walking through a living museum is palpable. The ground beneath our feet, worn by centuries, echoes with the footsteps of senators, emperors, and citizens of ancient Rome. We are surrounded by the remnants of what was once the nucleus of Roman civilization, where triumphs were celebrated and fates were decided. Before us, the ruins of temples, basilicas, and vibrant public spaces unfold. Each structure tells a story of a different era. The Temple of Saturn, standing in solemn ruins, once housed the state treasury. The Arch of Titus, with its intricately carved reliefs, commemorates Roman victories. These monuments, though in ruins, still radiate the power and glory of the Roman Empire. The Forum is not just a collection of ancient buildings. It is a chronicle of Rome's legacy, written in stone and soil. As we leave the Roman Forum, the shadows of history follow us, blending seamlessly into the vibrant tapestry of modern Rome. Our exploration of this eternal city leads us next to a space of artistic and architectural wonder, a square that has been the heart of Roman social life for centuries. Piazza Navona, leaving the poignant echoes of the Roman Forum behind, our exploration guides us to the vibrant and picturesque Piazza Navona. This historic square pulses with the life and artistry of modern Rome while preserving the echoes of its ancient past. As we step into the piazza, the open space envelops us in an atmosphere of lively elegance. The square, 
following the shape of the ancient stadium of Domitian that once stood here, is a testament to Rome's ability to weave the old with the new. Dominating the center of Piazza Navona is Bernini's Fountain of the Four Rivers. The fountain, with its dramatic statues representing the great rivers of four continents, the Nile, Ganges, Danube and Rio de la Plata, come to life under Bernini's hand, each telling a story of the world beyond Rome. Surrounding the square are ornate buildings and terraces, buzzing with cafes and restaurants. The aroma of freshly brewed coffee and Italian cuisine invites us to indulge in the pleasures of Roman life. Sitting at a cafe, watching the world go by in Piazza Navona, is to experience the essence of Roman culture, a blend of history, art, and the joy of living. As the sun sets, casting a golden hue over the square, we prepare to leave this enchanting place. Piazza Navona, with its artistic legacy and vibrant atmosphere, leaves an indelible mark on our Roman journey. We move forward, drawn to the next enchanting stop in our exploration of Rome, the elegant and historic Spanish steppes. As the lively ambience of Piazza Navona fades into the background, our journey through Rome takes us towards an iconic symbol of Roman elegance, the Spanish steppes. This monumental stairway linking the Piazza di Spagna at its base to the Trinita dei Monti church above, offers a blend of architecture, history, and the charm of Roman life. Approaching the steps, the bustling Piazza di Spagna comes into view, alive with the energy of locals and tourists alike. The steps themselves, a grand cascade of travertine, unfold before us like a Baroque masterpiece. Each of the 135 steps is a stage for the daily theater of Rome, a meeting place, a vantage point, a spot to pause and soak in the beauty of the city. As we ascend the Spanish steps, the view of Rome's rooftops and streets becomes increasingly magnificent. The steps are not just a means of passage, they are a journey through Rome's layers of time and style. Halfway up, the Barcaccia Fountain, a sculptural fountain by Pietro Bernini, adds to the artistic allure of the scene with its unique boat shape and flowing water. Reaching the top of the steps, the Trinita dei Monti Church stands with quiet dignity. From this elevated perch, the panoramic view of Rome is breathtaking. A tapestry of domes, ancient ruins and winding streets. The steps offer a moment of reflection, a chance to marvel at how seamlessly Rome interlaces its rich history with vibrant modernity. As we descend back down the steps, the allure of Rome's artistic heritage calls us onward. The charming and vibrant neighborhood of Trastevere, known for its narrow, winding streets and its lively bohemian spirit, Trastevere is a colorful mosaic of Roman life, history, and culture. As we enter Trastevere, the atmosphere shifts. The polished grandeur of central Rome gives way to a more rustic charm. Cobblestone streets, lined with ivy-clad buildings and adorned with hanging baskets of flowers, invite us to wander and explore. The neighborhood feels like a step back in time, a corner of Rome that has preserved its medieval character amidst the modern city. Walking through the streets of Trastevere, we are embraced by a warm sense of community. Small artisan shops, cozy cafes, and family-owned trattorias are tucked into every nook and cranny. The aroma of authentic Roman cuisine fills the air, tantalizing our senses with promises of culinary delights. Trastevere is not just a feast for the senses, it's also rich in history and art. The Basilica of Santa Maria in Trastevere stands proudly in the main square. Inside, the golden glow of the mosaics creates a serene and sacred atmosphere, inviting quiet reflection. The lively piazzas of Trastevere become gathering places for locals and visitors alike. It's in these moments that Trastevere reveals its true essence, a neighborhood where the Roman spirit of La Dolce Vita is lived to its fullest. As we reluctantly depart from the enchanting embrace of Trastevere, the vibrant energy of this unique neighborhood stays with us. Our Roman journey is drawing to a close, but one final marvel awaits. A historic fortress turned museum, the imposing Castel Sant'Angelo. As the quaint charm of Trastevere lingers in our memory, we move toward the culmination of our Roman expedition, the majestic Castel Sant'Angelo. Rising stoically along the banks of the Tiber River, this fortress has stood as a silent guardian of Rome's history, 
evolving through time from a mausoleum to a fortress, and finally to the museum it is today. Approaching Castel Sant'Angelo, its robust cylindrical structure and towering presence command our attention. Originally built as a mausoleum for Emperor Hadrian, the building has weathered the tumults of Rome's history, each era adding layers to its story. The fortress, with its thick walls and strategic position, has been a key player in the city's defense and a refuge for popes during times of turmoil. Crossing the bridge leading to the castle, adorned with angelic statues, we feel as though we're traversing not just a river, but also the boundary between the earthly and the celestial. The bridge, Ponte Sant'Angelo, lined with statues of angels bearing the instruments of Christ's passion, offers a moment of reflection on the intertwining of Rome's religious and political history. The terrace at the top of the castle offers a panoramic view of Rome, a breathtaking vista that stretches across the cityscape, tying together the past and present of this eternal city. As we exit Castel Sant'Angelo, the journey through Rome's wonders comes to a close. We are left in awe of the city's ability to intertwine millennia of history with vibrant modern life. Rome, a city where every stone tells a story, leaves us with a deep sense of wonder and an enduring connection to its timeless legacy. The sun sets over the Tiber, casting a golden light on our path, as we carry with us memories of a city that is not just a place, but a living, breathing chapter in the story of humanity. And with that, we conclude our enchanting journey through Rome. From the awe-inspiring Colosseum to the serene vistas of Castel Sant'Angelo, each step through this city has been a step through history. Thank you for joining us on Adventure Beginnings as we uncovered the timeless wonders of the eternal city. If you've enjoyed this journey, please like, share and subscribe for more adventures. Until next time, keep exploring and let your adventures begin. Arrivederci.